Meghan Markle here. Let's do another video um, and this has to do with something completely different. Okay, so there's this here. I did a screenshot and put it on my community board. Have the right wing media like Fox News, Oman and the far right news Max hurt you or your family with lies? Sue them. Rupert Murdoch's Fox News is facing $4.3 billion in defamation lawsuit, Smartmatic and Dominion voting system. It's time to hold them accountable. I think people who lose their life and on COVID because they were spewing that negativity. All right, uh, Fox News as well. Um, Alex Jones, uh, let me read this. Fox News lies to its viewers. This isn't an uh, accusation, allegation, or suspicion. It's a fact. All right, Alex Jones will have to pay millions to Sandy Hook's victims' parents. Fox News could be on the hook for $4.2 billion for their lies. Owen is facing so many lawsuits that it's falling apart. Defamation law may be our most effective weapons against their lies. Oh, uh, I was playing this on another video and it stopped. Let's see if he'll play here again. Alex Jones will have to pay millions to the parents of Sandy Hook's blame. Alex Jones, you may recall, had used his website InfoWars to portray the Sandy Hook school shooting massacre as a hoax involving actors aimed at increasing gun control. Parents of victim children sued Jones and his media company for $150 million, ultimately winning an initial settlement of $49 million. Courts in tip be liable for defamation, and as a result, Jones's parent cook for even though Jones lost this case, a 100% real, he's probably not going to stop making harmful and deceptive videos anytime soon. But this defamation lawsuit will serve as a warning to both Jones and others in the media who build their business models around both One America News, a Trump allied media uh, By the way, when, when he's talking, there's a cut. It's not me who did it. It's the recording. And I'm probably going to be putting screenshot. And I'm trying not to pause it again so it doesn't um, mess up because on one of my videos I recorded yesterday, it froze. It was doing buffering. So I don't know if it was something with my connection. Oh, I just did it now. I shouldn't do that. Texas okay. and Connecticut had already found Jones. All right, so maybe it's something with this video. It's not the uh, beach systems filed for bankruptcy. Oh, it keeps on doing it. Okay. All right, so it's the video. It's not me. <clears throat> All right, so let's read some of the comment here. Uh, Fox News, Fox News Live. Okay, a lot of hashtag here. Okay, part of the settlement needs to include full disclosure to their audience on every show from every host. Okay, it's it isn't Fox News, it's Fox Opinion, it's Fox Lies. No, right? Let the class action lawsuit begin. Where's my checkers flag? Okay, it's uh, it's hard to sue someone who has unlimited legal help. That's why Dominion is the right one to go after Fox. They too have all all those lawyers. Not only that, uh, with uh, with the Sandy Hook thing here, these are some wealthy uh, families who put their heads together and go after him. I, I, I think they want to. I didn't really cover that because it was too painful because I remember the day it happened. My youngest, I remember having him on my, I'm carrying him going to pick up my oldest to school. My oldest was in pre-K at that time. And when that happened, it, it brought chills down my spine. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I didn't want to cover it. Uh, yes, my family is so angry and hate-filled. All right, um, let's go to the next tweet. 
Uh, it's still about Fox News. Okay, Fox News new, Sean Hannity new, Tucker Carlson new, Rupert Murdoch new. They knew the big lie was a lie. They knew Biden won 2020 over Trump. They all lied about it anyway for the rating, for the money, for themselves. And I remember that one was a time I was talking about Sean Hannity. There was a picture of him with his daughters. I believe he has daughters and his wife. I don't remember seeing a a boy or a man uh, as his son or something like that in the picture it was all female and his wife was there and i'm like i'm thinking how could you be spewing all this negativity when you have children how can you do that to s I, I i don't understand how your uh, your family your kids are gonna see and i think it was that time where i raised the topic where you know uh there's this uh, tv show uh, it's usually on PBS where they're looking at your ancestry. They usually look after um, celebrities ancestry and see what happened to their families back then or do, do to their DNA or something like that. I've, is it ancestry something? But when these people find out that their ancestors did something so bravery, so heroic, they're so proud of it. But when these people now, they are living right now. When their great grandkids, you, you could see the the gap here where you don't know. It's like we are in the middle here. We know there's future to come, which we do not know about, and we know there is a past we are aware of. All right, we're right in the middle. In the middle, this is where we do what's right, what is uh, ethical, right to, for our kids, for our great grandkids. So when these people, Sean Hannity, who else? Tucker Carlson, uh, Rupert Murdoch is gone because his kids and he has grandkids already. So I don't know when the chain will stop with him. But these other people, because of money, they do this negativity, spew negativity around the world. What will their great grandkids say about them? I don't know. All I could see here, they could, they're going to go and change their names. They're going to go and change their names. Because they don't, they probably don't want to associate with that. Or maybe one of them will be brave enough to make it right in the future and say, "This is what my family did, and that." And then they try to make it right. But these people, money talk, they don't see no shame. All right, let's read some of the comment. Fax is in the business of selling lies. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a video that I did on um, App You Team Sussex. As I'm recording this, it's not out yet. Let me see if I could see it on here. It's not out yet. Uh, it's this one. All right. Uh, episode 54. All right. They start putting limited on my uh, videos already now. They need to re uh, review them all, uh, all of a sudden. All right. So this one, I think is episode 54. All right. This one. There's some really, uh, is it 54? Uh, uh, it, it, between 53 or 54. I don't remember which one one of them all right so there's some stuff that i send there that sort of break the code where the republican or some, the tories or i don't know what other government in australia are aiming for all right so this is the warning and i see it going through and perfect example which i have given the uk a lot of warning about is the nhs and i said don't be like the u.s uh, healthcare system so the nhs is moving toward that next thing is going to be the government okay so i explain everything i put screenshot of things how i come about with that conclusion that humble opinion y y you tell me okay the pattern is there all right, Fox lawsuit that Murdoch acknowledged several hosts hacked Trump's fraud claim. Dominic, there's this here, Rupert Murdoch, the billionaire conservative media mogul who owns Fox News Channel. All right, let's see here. Why isn't this shown in the media even when the, what is it, TFG uh, <clears throat> tells them it's over, they don't believe it. All right, let's see here. 52 seconds. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say... That President Trump is practically and morally responsible for provoking the events of the day. No and question. The thing with uh, the Republican Party, I don't know how can anybody trust anybody in that party. 
I understand this politics and all of that. But these people, when you on the same page with them, oh, they love you. But when you decided there's something morally wrong that is happening, you break away, they'll bash on you. They'll bash on you. They'll even go further than that. I don't even want to say what I'm thinking, but let's continue. Listen, the damage this guy has caused the United States itself as well. Okay. Never take his word for what it is because he has created a lot of damages ever since he's been in office. I don't know how he keeps on being reelected. When President Obama wanted to do so many things for the country, he blacks President Obama after blacking after blacking. All right, let's continue. What about it? The people who stormed this building believed they were acting on the wishes and instructions of their president. And having that belief. Pay the demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defied the seat of dust. It's defiled, right? See, I can't see it very well. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'm going to do this. Let's go. But this election. <laughs> Was he reading the uh, teleprompter and he could see it? Oh my God. Baggage for God. It is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say. Wow. The president. He doesn't want to say it's over. They certified it. Okay. Yep. Secure as could be. And if they had elected, I don't know. The, you know what I see here? Something fundamental. It's, I'm not just saying, thinking I'm out of the, uh, the woodwork as well. Sometimes I need to check myself. Okay? Something fundamentally wrong with a lot of people. The United States, not that it was acquired legally, but the premises we're moving on forward is liberty for all, justice for all, and all of that. Okay, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, all of this. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, you have someone from another country who become citizen and create all those lies. And for the American people to completely forget their foundation, what was the U.S. built upon? How could this be? We have ourselves to blame for for this how could we and this is why many times i bring up many veterans um what is it uh um how do they call them um uh, yeah vets who have died on the battlefield one and specifically which i've used as an example um i for, uh tillman tillman Ta is it todd tillman or something like that i forgot his name i'll put his picture he was he was a successful uh he was making money uh, playing football. But after 9-11, <clears throat> he decided to stop and enlist in the army to go fight because he wants to preserve, preserve democracy. He did not like what he saw happen at 9-11. For some reason, I don't know why so many people in the United States, especially those who care so much about freedom, completely forgot all of this. I don't understand. And this is why, another reason, I'm bringing this up here. Those racists don't like black people. Why? Because they try their best to not only eliminate and they try to drug them, they try to drunk them, you know, uh, with uh, alcohol, they try to manipulate their mind, but yet they cannot achieve that. Okay. You see, uh, po when I say poison, just look at Flint, Michigan, what happened to the water. Okay. It's, it was happening in predominantly black areas. Okay. African-American, uh, neighborhood. All right. They try, they try, they try, they try, they try. They cannot. So, in one of my videos, that video that was just mentioned, it's, uh, I think, 54, between 53 or 54. One of those videos where I told you what was the, the goal of Republican in that video. Uh, many black and brown and some other cultures as well are stopping those racists negative mind from achieving their goal 
Okay, pretty much we are saving white people from themselves because all they know is kill, 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 injure, injure, you know, destroy. Okay, just destroy anything that they don't like. They don't know how to move forward in a peaceful manner, try to change the mind in a way that is peacefully. If they don't like what you do, it's destroy pretty much. Okay, but later on, once they finish destroy, once they look back, they're going to look at, at all the disasters that they did. They're going to say, oh my God, what have I done? Now I need these people to help me because not everybody knows everything. So each person you destroy is a piece of the puzzle you are removing from the bigger picture. All these people who came up with uh, a solution to solve, uh, I don't know, some disease or how to make certain things better, uh, how to make agriculture better. Now it seems easy because somebody took that time to study it and understand it and then make it to an understandable way. But many things that have happened that we see that is very easy to do now. But the first person who came up with it uses his brain to plug things together. So how many of us that we have already destroyed who could have solved so many other problems that you people are keep on destroying? This is the thing many of you need to think. There are so many issues that's going to be coming further. As we move forward, we're evolving. Other things is going to come. Okay. Who's going to have the brain to stop and think and come up with a solution? This is the thing many of us need to think. It's not to just destroy, destroy. There is punishment. I understand that. We need to punish. This is why we create jail. But many of you... Create jail for something else. Put people in prison because you don't like them. You you uh, you uh, you create some nonsense to frame them. Put them in jail for years for something they didn't do. You abuse the system for things that it wasn't there for. How many of these people you put in jail who could have done so many other things out there, but you disrupt their lives? Because of your own ambition. And your ambition is crazy. It's evil. It's unethical. It's all of that. So this is something many white people need to think about. Alright. Uh, and some. Well let me not just say uh, white people. Anybody. Okay. Anybody who have negative mindset. This is something you need to think about. Okay. I don't want to just. Uh, 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 out just white people. But majority of the things. The pain and suffering that's going around the globe it's caused by them because they're inflicting they don't know how to mind their own business but we also know other cultures black people does have crazy mind as well other people have that mind but the infiltrate the vast majority is caused by white people because they don't know how to mind their own their own business all right let's move on uh, if we had voted for hillary clinton we'll be in a different sphere all right uh, yep, secure as uh, as could be. Let's see here. 25 seconds. Let's listen. Tax experts in Silicon Valley, Valley with whom I have met, who say that you know maybe what they'll do this next time is to really disrupt the actual election, shut down the servers that you send results to, uh, interfere with the operation of voting machines because still too many of them are linked to the internet. So there, we are still very vulnerable. Tech experts. In well, she knows something. There's a lot of other things she had said. There's a lot of things she had said. Because when you look at the, the way Trump won, something must have happened. Because throughout, we saw she was winning, she was this, and then all of a sudden, even Trump felt like he lost. And then all of a sudden, people wake up, Trump won, people could not believe it. I, so she was telling the truth and many other things she have said was the truth. What is that? Logical fallacy. See here. What is that? Okay. Let, uh, the cult is hooked. They beg us to lie. This is a shame. This is a shame. All right. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> I have one more and then that's it. I need to start editing. All right. So this I book, um, I think I bookmark it, show it on my community, but all right. It's impossible to fathom how much damage Fox News and Rupert Murdoch have done to our country. Yeah. And then the worst thing is 
when you look at these people, these are old white men who are creating so much pain and devastation to our society. Their times is about to be up. People don't live forever. Their time is about to be up. I'm looking at um, my, um, my nephew from my husband's side. This kid was doing so well. He went to school uh, in California. He's doing his thing. Um, I was looking at his website. He's doing some magical thing. Then COVID happened. And he had to pack up his thing. He was renting in um, California. Next thing, he probably was going to look for a job for animation and all of this. Things stop. Things stop. And now he's moved back here and he's doing his thing. The, I mean, I'm giving you one example, but there's so many young people. These old men have disrupted their lives, those young people's lives. It's unfair. It's very unfair. All right, let's see here. Uh, a Shiat stain. Okay, a Shiat stain on humanity. Lord, please deliver us from this evil. Yeah. Okay, his children will follow in his footsteps and they are worse. Baggage for God. Okay, we need to pray. We need to, uh, the things that we cannot do, some of us who cannot sue, uh, like I was uh, seeing and, uh, and, you know, reading a few minutes ago, or the video, the, uh, <clears throat> to call them to court for defamation of that. Not all of us can do that. We could still mind our business, but at the same time, the, you know, pray to the universe. Or whatever God you believe in, okay. The suit is the suit is for 1.6 billion dollars, and the jury award punitive damages. Fax has two billion cash on hand. Five billion and punitive damage should wipe them out. Uh, what was it on one of my video on my other channel? I don't know which channels. <laughs> is that uh, it, was it in Australia? They were uh, firing people and stuff like that because they are being sued. All right. While King Charles and Camilla continue to entertain and endorse Rupert Murdoch's senior hat. Uh, uh, uh. What is it? Oh, my God. I just thought of that. The Harry is suing them over there as well. Okay. My last video, video number two of today's date. Was it uh, the Fragmore, the a victim and all of that? Okay, uh, let me not say what I'm thinking. Okay, let's not let that stop us from putting a uh, astronomical price on it and then extradite it from his possession. And not only that, after that, they need to uh, remove his citizenship. Uh, why? I did this on another video. Uh, this is what caused that. And throughout Trump presidency, I saw, I don't know if I mentioned it in uh, some other videos, he was stirring, stirring. Because when you look at the... Um, black communities. He, he was stirring the black communities to cause some sort of uh, internal within the country to, uh, what did they call this? Civil. Okay? Civil unrest. But we brush it off. We use the system, uh, the, the legal system to move forward with our pain and suffering. Even though some of us then went everything, but there was some stuff that was uh, being done to prevent that civil arrest. But when they realized black people is not going to do it, they did it themselves and they out themselves. Okay. It's not only fathomable, it's a completely trackable and documentable because it happened live on the miracle of cable television. And I hope they compiled the information so everyone can see it, not only chronologically, but also with the massive impact it had on the public. I remember when this was happening, there was uh, this young Asian person she didn't know what was happening. She didn't know the full potential behind it. And um, they were interviewing her and they said, it was peaceful at first. I don't know. I was there. Can you imagine if she had just gone in there and followed through? But she didn't go in there. But they were uh, interviewing her. Do you think CNN and MSNBC are reliable sources? Uh, let's see. Let's see that one. No one should use news outlets as their sole source for news and information. That's why. Thus, one should never only use CNN of or MSNBC as the only source. But what was it? Um, Rachel Maddow, when she's doing her segment, I love, I really love the way she start with her segment. She give you a background of how things come about and she show receipts and all of that. I really like the way she does her thing. And I think someone, I don't want to say because I don't remember exactly who, was trying to sue her. But she won. She won her case. 
uh, why as the only source but facts is an even source for news or factual information that is clear as day especially after what we know now <clears throat> okay now we know because sometimes when the thing strike in your brain you realize oh my god yeah we now i know but before when it was playing out throughout because of the hate the i don't know the fog that was going in your eyes you can't see the truth for what it is because you were you were hearing what you wanted to hear so you listen to it and you follow too but you fail to listen to reasonable people okay for the most part yes but uh, opinion shows on that news no matter what channel it doesn't matter no matter what you need to look further into it all right let's go to the next tweet i forgot my point for bringing that but whatever if i remember when i'm editing i'll share it with you next tweet <coughs> and one thing i will suggest um on pure yte i have some videos uh leading up to the election there's some stuff uh you could look go as far back as the black Lives matter movement 2020 and all of that look into it because there's some stuff that i brought up I don't know it might shed some light to something i'm not saying you're gonna agree Megan with Markle everything here. but i was sharing some things that were going on on twitter and some squad were not about that and i think that's when i started putting more political stuff on this channel as the backup and then other things start happening Anyway, let's do this and this will be the last way. Okay, profiting off of lies has been Rupert Murdoch's modest operandi for years. Now the truth is out and we need to hold the likes of Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, Engram Engel, and the entire network accountable for enabling treason and a sedition. Drop box. Okay, it's one minute and 18 seconds. I, I don't know. I probably, if there's music, I don't know. I'm probably going to start putting, um, what is it? screenshot an answering brief filed today by dominion voting systems in their 1.6 billion dollar lawsuit against fox news it includes brand new details including testimony given under oath from among others Rupert murdoch he believed fox was quote uniquely positioned to state the message that the election was not stolen on january 5th rupert and suzanne scott discussed whether sean hannity growing examples and frankly affidavits of ballot irregularities and outright illegality Tucker Carlson, and, and, and the other thing as well with these people because through court document they knew the truth okay they knew the truth but yet they go on live television to talk about it. that's because they probably knew they could get away with it <clears throat> But the ethical implication of that, I don't understand how they could live with themselves. They have kids. That's the thing. I think I mentioned it already, so let, let me not repeat myself. ...of Americans suspect this election was stolen from them. And Laura Ingram. Do we have to get to the bottom of all this <coughs> and, and expose fraud where it occurred? Should say some version of the election is over and Joe Biden won. He, Rupert Murdoch. Hope those words, quote, would go a long way to stop the Trump myth. This election. Election. There was, uh, it's probably on Pure YTE video. I don't know which one because I have too many videos. Um, there were some videos I was showing regarding, uh, what's this uh, YouTube channel? I forgot the name of it. Is it, uh, I think it was the Lincoln Project. Yeah, YouTube videos from the Lincoln Project. I think it was that. And they were interviewing some Republicans, why they're not voting for Trump and what, what uh, so forth, so on one in particular there was this particular uh, staffer who was working for trump and he says the re the reason he left and he's not gonna vote for him because he was in the inside he saw the things that was happening laws were being broken and uh 
something that was said to him. I don't remember exactly who. I, I think I know who, but I don't want to say because I'm not going to look for that video. Someone said to him that don't worry about it. After the election, they could do whatever they want. Okay. I will never forget this particular uh, video from, I think it was from the Lincoln Project. You could go through all of their videos leading up to the 2020 election. One a particular person they interview said that, and I will never forget it as well because they were really they were gonna change everything. That's where everything was gonna change completely. It was stolen. Suzanne Scott told Rupert Murdoch that quote privately they are all there, but hmm. we need to be careful about using the shows and pissing off the viewers. So nobody made a statement. The next day was January sixth. Wow. Wow. And all those people who care about freedom, no matter what freedom it is, this is very crucial. And then when you look, go to uh, what C-SPAN, when they're having meetings and all of that, there's some really good discussion that's going on where the Republican, I think they have the House or when they're making some bogus things, they're bringing people, but the Democrats are standing up to them. Okay, we need to pay attention every election matters the what well, oh, we just had the mixture the next election that's gonna happen we need to vote and i think there was a election that happened was it in pennsylvania <clears throat> i think it was the recent election i don't remember but uh, i think it's for the first time in pennsylvania i think for 18 years or something i don't know how many years but the first time the democrat have won the majority and they have a speaker of the house in pennsylvania so we need to pay attention pay attention it's not about black and white they're using the aspect of black and white to confuse you to pin one of us against each other meanwhile whoever is in power who's trying to maintain power is uh, going behind the scene and do what needs to be done to maintain power. All right, so let's see here. Okay, maybe we can hold the one who ordered the treason and sedition accountable. We haven't even searched all of his properties and he has potential state secrets stashed all over the, pal uh, the place. I think there's a major case. I mean, it's very sad to see people who do lesser crime have already been in jail, probably would have been in jail for years, but this guy is running around still. And I think he's pu putting his uh, name as he's going to run for office uh, for the position as well. And there's a possible if he won, there's a possibility he might win. You just never know. And then everybody else is going to fall in line once again. So we need to prevent that. But I think because there's so many chances that I don't even understand why he got away from when the meeting was taking place in his office, even though I don't even know how he got away with that. But anyway, that's another discussion. But now we hear whoever's doing what needs to be done. I hope they have a good case and set an example for anyone who try to do this next time. All right. Now, what are the implications when there's a sedition? Let, let me, now I'm curious. <clears throat> um, what is the punishment? For, uh, for this, uh, hmm. uh, uh, I don't think that's what I'm looking for because there's some, mm, they put some people in jail, but for other form, not for sedition. Let's see here. Advocating overthrow of government shall be fined under this title of imprisonment, not more than 20 years or both, and shall be ineligible for employment by the United States or any department of agencies thereof for the five years next following his uh, conviction. No, that's not what I'm, um, uh, uh, there's a not treason. That's the word, not sedition, treason. Is that the same thing? Treason and sedition, I don't think it's the same. Death, there it is. I think that's what they, <laughs> they didn't even go around the bush, they put death. Okay, whoever owing allegiance to the United States, levies wars against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere is guilty of treason and shall suffer death or shall be imprisoned not less than five, five years from death to five years and fine under this title, but not less than $10,000. <laughs> 
this is a joke or oh, imprisonment and then that from death to, uh, to the minor of this but anyway what is the punishment for treason in america Okay, still treason is one of the most severe crime committed against the u.s carrying a minimum prison sentence five years fine ten thousand dollars and possible sentence of death all right from this to death i don't know but so that's what i wanted so did, okay what is the difference between what is the difference okay there it is the difference between sedition and treason okay treason is a federal crime that consists of act against the united states government while sedition is a state crime that consists of inciting rebellion of okay so some of the people that been found guilty of sedition that this is what it is state crime but i think they're gonna try to put uh uh what's his name um the other one that they haven't convicted for sedition my goodness mm. but anyway let's do a prayer i feel like we need a prayer for people's mind needs to be clear to see the right thing uh, how could i word it prayer for let's see if something come up but i think there should be something better than that lord god almighty clear my mind as my thought run rampant in my head stress is getting the better of me okay faithful father please bless me with the peace of mind so i earnestly seek from your holy spirit my mind and heart are very troubled and i need your divine okay um clear of mind let me remove consistent here let's create clear mind okay let's see what comes okay Let's, we're gonna keep that loving god please grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart my soul is like a turbulent sea i can't seem to find my balance so i stumble on worry constantly give me the strength and clarity of mind to find my purpose and walk the path you've laid out for me i think this is a good one let me pick one of these i'm thinking this and that <coughs> Prayer for purity of mind, body, and soul. Okay. Oh, Jesus, be my center. Remove what's dark in me and replace it with the good. Set my path straight, O merciful Savior. I declare and decree that your purity infiltrates me as well as the world around me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And I think I said this one. Let's go back. Yeah, this one. Uh, prayer for a clear mind. God Almighty, clean my mind as my thought run rampant in my head. Stress is getting the better of me. Help me to keep focus on you, Lord, making you the center of my life. All right. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And uh, that is it. <music>
happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. <laughs>